This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Domain.com. After we covered the Nest Learning thermostat on the show, we started getting requests for more home automation and monitoring gear on Texilla. Um, Patrick's now testing something called Watt Vision. Watt? What? Let me guess, a live monitoring for your uh, home energy use? Perhaps? Why, yes, you would be absolutely correct. So, Watt Vision is a tool to generate a live view of your home or business energy use on the web or on your mobile device. There are a whole bunch of competing energy monitors out there. Uh, some are, are using like ammeters that clamp onto power lines, some of them are attaching to your meter. This is really cool. So. What we're looking at right now is the live energy usage in my house, which actually looks kind of low, because right now I, I had my wife turn on uh, the electric washing machine and the electric dryer, <laughs> which both have like 15 amp dedicated circuits. You're like, crank it up. So yeah, so, so at this point we're, we're running at 250 watts or $3 an hour. So maybe that is actually uh, maxed out. So, oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> If we take a look at the consumption rate in watts over here, so what we're looking at right here is that, there we go. What we're looking Ooh. at right here is, this is what the house kind of looks like normally mm -hmm. over here, probably less than 100 watts. And I'm still, I should point out, I'm still experimenting with this, okay? So, but you can see where right here around 11.15 a.m., uh, Sarah turned on the uh, washer and dryer. And look at that, kids. We started sucking down some serious amperage. I'm pretty sure this would be the spin cycle of the washing machine right there. Uh, on top of the dryer. So it's it's a pretty interesting device. Let me let me explain how this kind of works here. There is um there is, there it is. Basically, there's a sensor that goes on your meter. If you have an analog meter, you get an analog sensor, it looks kind of like that. You basically have to go out and strap this onto your meter. This is for a digital meter with a front mount, and this is what's on my house at home, a digital sensor on the top mount. Essentially what it's doing is uh, reacting to the meter itself and connecting. Basically, that gets connected to this, which is the Watt Vision Gateway. So you have a sensor on your meter and the Watt Vision Gateway. And I gotta say, the worst part of this was actually the giant length of RJ45 uh, telephone cord. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, you log into the Watt Vision Gateway, you configure it with the information for your home network, it connects to the network, you plug in the sensor, which I ended up with this incredible knot of like 100 feet of wiring, run that to the to the gateway unplug the power plug the power in and it starts tracking information nice. um, it's pretty cool um, Watt vision says it's accurate to within two watts which is pretty freaking accurate and it's updated on their servers every 15 seconds which gives you information like this if I go to the actual uh, live page and not the overview page. So right now, uh, if I have the correct f information in it, and what's kind of funny, if they don't have your power company's information in, you mm -hmm. can enter in that information in a link and they will add it in. So they're in the process of, of adding in Alameda Municipal Power, because we have oh, a little nice. tiny citywide power thing. No. So. Oh, I was gonna say, can you tell like how many devices are running or like what, what what is causing all the power consumption in the house? Is there any way to know that? I think at this point, like I'm still experimenting with this. At this mm -hmm. point, it's kind of like turning things on and turning things off because the I'm trying to figure out the baseline consumption and to do that, the furnace has to be off and the refrigerator has to be off because we have a refrigerator and a wall, like a chest freezer that we keep all of, because we, we harvest a lot of fruit, right? So a chest freezer, so those two have to be off. So at this point, I'm turning off devices. I'm I am learning more about this system and I'll come back and talk about it in a week or two because I think it'll be interesting to see whether it will actually tell me what devices is or, or sense what they are and I'll know more about that after a week or two. And what do you what do you want this to be the what do you want the ultimate goal of this to be? Do you feel I mean obviously you right. want to save money by, by lowering your power consumption, but can't you just do that? by knowing to turn off certain things when you leave the house well, or, certain, or lowering your, your heat? On one hand, on one hand, like, yes, mm -hmm. right? On the other hand, um, when you have children of a certain age and they start doing things in the background, or maybe if you want to find out how much energy is actually being consumed by the TIG welder, <laughs> right? Or or the washing machine, or it's, it's kind of an interesting idea so that you're getting an overall instant report of what's going on in terms of energy usage. A lot of people that are actually using these, uh, the Watt Vision people told me, are actually uh, commercial operations. Oh where it's incredibly expensive for them to get a retrofitted meter to do something like this, but they can strap the Watt Vision on, and now they can see what somebody's doing in the remote office. Like, are they running the AC 24 seven? You okay. know what I mean? And that's kind of funny. Yeah. Like, it, you, this thing, it's $250. Oh, same price as the, as the Nest. Yeah, it's kind of funny. You gotta spend money to save money. Yeah, well, it's kind <laughs> of funny. investment. It's funny, like, when I got the Nest, I found out there were, like, several pre-existing, sophisticated, programmable, internet sort of front-facing thermometers out there, but the Nest kind of raised the 
awareness out there. Um, with the Watt Vision, if you think about it this way, if you've got a teenager that's like, no, Dad, I'm not turning on the AC when you're not here, but turns mm -hmm. out to be running their AC 24-7 when you're not in the house, um, that could easily total up to a ridiculous energy charge and pay for this. So, you know, essentially I'm spying on my energy media right now and we trying to like figure data. out. We like data. We like well, having data. It can also help me figure out whether or not solar is going to be, uh, you know, between that and having an examination of these, you know, how much sun is hitting my roof is whether or not we're going to put in solar panels on the roof. It's also interesting to see if, if the nest is saving you any, any money. Some. Yeah, a little bit? A little bit. Interesting. It's interesting. Seasonal transitions with the mm -hmm. nest get interesting because it's got like at its program and yeah. then you need to sort of change its program with the seasons. I've noticed that my, my energy costs have been leveling out. Yes. Like every month now it's almost the same exact amount of, of price. I think I pay 50 bucks a month for electric right. now. And it goes up a little bit in the winter time but then not that much because it doesn't get too cold here. Do you run AC in the summer? We don't have AC. So okay. no. That yeah, helps. It gets warmer. It helps a lot, by the way, to live in Northern California by the ocean near San Francisco where the weather never gets that cold and never gets that warm. It, it minimizes your yeah. energy costs. Because, <laughs> like, true. you know, a cold night in Alameda where I live is 35 degrees, like a ridiculously cold night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, typical you just put on an extra like blanket and you're good to go. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we still have more of your questions still to come. But before we do that, we need to thank one of our sponsors. Entrepreneurs and innovators are all turning ideas into realities online, backed by the strength of a .NET domain name. .NET is one of the world's most popular domain extensions, and a .NET domain name from Domain.com will inject your business with instant credibility. Entrepreneurs and innovators will immediately discover the advantages of building their web presence around a .NET domain name. Already have a .com? Purchase the corresponding .NET from Domain.com and protect your online brand. Is the .com you want already taken? The .NET is a perfect alternative. We like Domain.com, they're affordable, .NET is only $8.99 a year, they're reliable and easy to use. The crew at Domain.com want to hook our fans up with an awesome offer, get 20% off their already affordable domain names and web hosting, just use the coupon code TECHZILLA at Domain.com's checkout. That's 20% and big time savings, and don't forget, use the coupon code TECHZILLA. When you think domain names, think Domain.com.